Hi, dear friends. I bring you all greetings from the beautiful city of Pune. Whenever you are coming to Pune, I welcome you all to visit our various centers and DPUIVF, which is now the new addition in our catalog. We all know, friends, endosuturing is an art. In suturing, what happens, what I'm supposed to cover, where the surgeon differ is use of suture material and the suturing technique. So naturally, I will try to cover this in another 18 minutes, though the basic principle of any surgery or any surgeon remains the same. Thinking of the same surgeon may differ from time to time as he or she evolves with the understanding of their own cases, the strength of the scar, they follow up their patients, how they behaved, or someone else's patient. We always keep on learning. Also, the availability of a suture material in your particular place, economy of the patient, number of myomas and sizes of myomas, and also if this patient is doing myomectomy for infertility or enhancing fertility, or is it for a my uh, menorrhagia. I may differ in their thinking. What is important in obstetrics is the strength of the scar. And the strength of the scar depends on the obliteration of a dead space by the surgeon. Why my laparoscopic myomectomy or suturing is so well spoken? Because obstetric quality of laparoscopic myomectomy is a matter of considerable debate. Now suppose I have, what are the basic principles or the trial you should be thinking about? Avoid this. You want anything which will weaken the scar? Is this strangle hematoma at the scar, necrosis or infection? Now, how do I do it? First of all, when my suture material are coming in, for, I'm not going to cauterize, but my assistant compresses. Many small capillaries will stop bleeding. It is only the arterial bleed which will come in. Second important thing is, I will ensure that there is no dead space, single layer or multiple layer. If there is no dead space, then what is going to happen is, if there is no dead space, what is going to happen is there will not be hematoma. Third important thing is I will never cauterize this base, never cauterize the myoma bed. So there will not be necrosis and hence there will not be infection. So if I don't want to cauterize, they are bleeding, what should I do? Just improve your speed of closure. What we do after the removal of a baby, we don't cauterize the cut edges of the pregnant uterus, same is here. So let's talk about the suture material and the closure technique. Suture material, those who are doing for more than two and a half decades, now laparoscopy, they all have used Vicryl a lot. What was, it is not inferior quality uh, suture material. Only thing is you need hand of an assistant to give a hold. That's it. How we do in the caesarean, the assistant has to keep on pulling or keeping a tension. Same way you need for a white wheel, third hand. Then came the bath, which is self-returning. And then the V-lock, so you don't have to even lock the, put the lock. So all these are extremely good as long as you understand the principle of it. So I'm using for myoma, bar or a V-lock. I don't care how much it cost uh, because I work in a different atmosphere or an institutional setup. May not be the case in a smaller setup, but if you can't use V-lock, doesn't mean you will do with any inferior. The advantages of it is it is self retained so I don't need my, I have a lot of fellows. They leave the hand. I don't have to keep on pulling the things. Second, it will cause a good obliteration of the dead space and hence there is no hematoma. I'll show you in the coming videos how I can uh, simplify my suturing. Now, this is a large myoma. It is intramural compressing the cavity completely. So what is happening is I know it is, more of a longitudinal, not horizontal. So first thing is my scar of the myoma will not be so big because I know I don't need horizontal, I'm taking vertical. Now, remember, if 
over the period, what I realize is if the myoma is on anterior, vertical uh, incision helps you better. If it is posterior, the horizontal incision works you better. In all infertility patient, we believe in doing intracapsular. Since my trach is not in equation, I'm just going little fast forward. Now that was a ligature, but you have a monopolar, no problem. Just what is important is give this releasing incision so you don't open up cavity in an infertile woman as much as possible. And then have a good assistant who is knows how to give a good traction and the vaginal person who gives a counter traction. Now, since it was oblong, what is important is I'm not taking out this. This is completely out. Now, obliteration of this. Around 100, 200 cc fluid, I do pass still. And if there is no leakage from the vaginal end, then I'm little relaxed. But if you see, what is important is I'm taking two layers or three layers. There is no dead space. There are no bleeders. Whatever these capillaries, they will stop on its own. And whenever you are taking a V-lock or a bath, have a habit of taking a uh, baseball technique. What is baseball technique? It means always from inside out, inside out. So this is inside, I'm coming out, and then again I'm going from inside and I'm coming out. So this is called baseball so that it becomes like a subcutaneous and the suture material is not exposed because we know that it, it can pull out the adhesions. So if your suture material is not exposed naturally because this omentum or the bowel to those hair-like fine structures of the suture material, they will not be adherent. So end result has to be, can you see this blanching and all? That happens. So I'm very confident that it will not lose up. This is the advantage of V-log suture. Now, sometimes you may have a large myoma from fundus to the isthmus. Again, the principle remains the same. I'm just trying to show you the ancil here, but since my topic is different, I'm just not going to talk about enucleation. Always see cautery on the myoma, never on the base of a myoma. Again, I will put it around 150 cc. Can you see that? This is a capsule. So I'm taking here, obviously, this is my first layer. Then there will be a second layer. And then with the baseball, I'm going there and showing you the end result of a third layer. So single layer, double layer, triple layer, all depends upon the size of the myomas, what suture material you are using, whether the fertility for the patient is needed, and what your comfort zone is. Now, sometimes, if this is the myoma I want to go. I'm taking out, you can see only one or two simple, I don't need a bath suture, the Y grill, I'm just taking one, two stitches. It is hardly an incision of one centimeter or two centimeter. You can just take a Y grill. When to suture in cases of multiple myomas. So vasopressin, which I use for all my patients, the action of it remains only for 15 to 20 minutes. Now, these are the three myomas. Again, one important thing, though I know others are covering, I'm just telling you, don't open the cavity in an infertile woman. If in such a myomas where the cavity is obliterated from all the sides, uh, you may cause a lot of intrauterine adhesions. So what I'm doing is once you take out the first myoma, there is no bleeding because the vasopressin action is there. These are small size but deep into you can see the amount of myometrium I have, but just pull it out. And you finish this case, and finish this myoma, and then you go to the next myoma. So next myoma, when I'm enucleating again, similarly, I'm just confirming the vasopressin effect is there. Just take those and finish up the suturing of this before you go for the next. So this is how you should be doing myomas. Now, remember one thing, uh, so there will not be the oozing. Otherwise, by the time you reach to the third one, unnecessary, there is a oozing from the first myoma. Every drop of the patient's blood counts. Now, this is subserous and deep intramural by its side. I'm just, uh, this only subserous would not have needed anything. But along with it, there is another intramural fiber. So again, you will see, the principle remains the same. 
I'm just to, suturing it. And your assistant, when they are young, they want to put their hands in between. Usually, it is not needed, but give the fist of that. Now, two to suture. Another thing, this you will see this. That is why I kept this video. Don't do this with the barb or willow. Take two, three, and then pull. You may cause tearing of the tissue. Over the period, you become so expert that you feel like finishing it fast, and that's why you are doing that. But when it comes to VLOG, don't do that because it is not so easy to glide two to uh, stitches at a time. So similarly, this is a deep intramural, and I'm going, and the principle remains. While for these small myomas, I'm just cauterizing the base or a myolysis I will do. Now, sometimes you have beautiful broad ligament myoma, but this broad ligament myoma has a blood supply, which is coming from the medial aspect of the uh, isthmus from here. So uh, what are the things? Apart from this, this myoma is more simple. This is a small uterus and large myoma. Though it is not directly coming to your fertility. I know that this will give a problem in a pregnancy and she has to up, be out with this myoma. I'm not going to do a uh, complete myomectomy uh, showing you, but what was important for me is I would always like to take a uterine because I was knowing that uh, this has a very good blood supply from the isthmus and this myoma may be too big and that's why this is just the passing tips I'm giving. Now, such things are very simple to suture in because there is no skill is needed. Here, the blood supply was there. Before I release the uterine, I will just take one, two stitches here on that lateral myometrium, the isthmic region, so that there will not be. Otherwise, the moment I release the uterine, there may be a nice bleeder come. I would not like to cauterize anything here. And then only I will remove the uh, uterine. Now, what is important is uh, you see here, this is the huge course of the vessel, but the suturing is very simple. It's just the anterior or a posterior leap of a broad ligament and keeping a small hole. So any fluid collection is there. I can keep a drain for eight to 10 hours. And if the drain is not coming out here, there was no posterior opening. So no suturing posteriorly only to the anterior leap, which was such a simple job to do in such cases. Now, sometimes, you have no choices than to take out many, but the suturing is very simple, one anterior wall and one posterior wall. So friends, prepare yourself before each surgery to excel your intraoperative performance. Believe in chasing excellence every day. Myomas are tricky. They come in multiple sizes, shapes, and locations. What is important is you should have the someone who is giving you a beautiful uh, mapping of those, whether it is radiological pictures or the MRI pictures. Over the period, you will realize they are sometimes medium size compressing, sometimes large size, sometimes many anterior posteriorly, sometimes few, sometimes small compressing the fundus and sometimes larger compressing, but smaller part of the fundus. Sometimes they make the cavity so crooked that you have no choice than to take out one by one. I really feel over the period when you get such difficult cases, it adds on to your experience and skill. Each case need individual attention. So there is no rule that you should do the suturing like this or you should do with single layer or multiple layer, whether you should do ipsilateral or contralateral, simple. It depends upon your height. I, if you are doing a contralateral from two different ports, naturally you need to be heighted. Otherwise, at the end of a day, your suture will go. So those who are youngsters, believe whenever you are taking ipsilateral, see to it that not only 10 centimeter, but the lower port and the upper port, they are uh, not in a one vertical line because the instrument inside will become an acute angle. More obtuse the angle between the two needle holder, more easy it is for you to do the suturing technology. So each needs individual attention. But most important of all is some woman of myoma needed, needs to be treated while others not. So because you are expert doesn't mean you should remove each and every myoma. You have to keep on thinking every day 
what is the innovative way I use it and I do it differently. So endoscopy has made every surgeon imaginative. Everyone has their own skill. What is important is don't complicate the simple case. Making the simple complicated is making the simple complicated is common. Making the complicated simple is the creativity. And whatever may said and done, suturing is a fantabulous. You just need 48 hours nonstop practice and you will realize that it comes automatically. You just have to click you and it comes. Endoscopy has given us opportunity to help our patient in best possible way. So friends, Without learning suturing, you cannot do endoscopic surgery. Our patients come with many, many more myomas. What is important is the South African people, those who are managing them, they all know that they come with multiple myomas and large size myomas. And you need to give a time to such cases. Don't complicate by keeping 10 surgeries overhanging. Give sufficient time so that you can do your best for that particular case. Don't limit your challenges. Challenge your limit. Each day, strive for never-ending improvement. And don't stop when you are tired. Stop when you are done. And I know there is so much in endoscopy, ART, stem cell, 3D printing, so many things. There is an innovation, evolvement. And it's important that we celebrate every day by doing a fantabulous surgery. Never, never stop. We don't grow when things are easy. Come out of your comfort zone. Change is constant, needed, and we grow when we get changes and challenges. Friends, to make endoscopy safe years after years, you need a passion, hard work, dedication, all goes together. All my expert friends, endoscopist, ART consultant, we are blessed this life, giving so much happiness and hopes to so many infertile or fertile couple. And I think no better place to live than in your operation theater with fantabulous pillows doing fantabulous work. Thank you so much for your patience hearing.